All right. Hope you guys are all doing good. Today is the monthly announcement day. I'm a little bit late. We're nine days into July, but this is the full announcement for all the stuff that got done in June for the Pirate Software Studio. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. So first things first, Heartbound has been updated twice this month. We did patch 109.56 and patch 109.57. First one's a pretty big patch. I actually wrote in here that it's a, the last minor patch for Animus because it's like just kind of a sectional thing. But the next one is going to be the Mossbacks and the conclusion to Animus. That's the next major patch that we're going to be doing. So this is this is hilariously, it's more like a major patch, but it's uh, I wrote it as a minor patch. So for the content that's actually in here, though, it's, it's pretty massive. The first one is Avocado can now invite you over to her house. So this is, I, I think, over a thousand lines of dialogue. It's pretty massive, actually. And it's um, all of the content inside of Avocado's house. You can go to her house. She can invite you over. There's a ton of interactions in there. There's all kinds of different objects you can interact with, different characters you can you can interact with, some stuff you can take back to your room and carry over to other chapters. Um, Avocado actually fixes the pocket watch in there, and you can, you can do that in all kinds of different ways. There's a bunch of different ways. So play around in that room is basically what I'm saying. Like, do things that you wouldn't expect to be allowed to do. And I... I had a lot of fun building it, and I'm just going to keep building stuff like that. Avocado is one of my favorite characters in the game, so being able to do this and like do the conclusion for Avocado has been a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. So the next thing is, is Emilio had some updates. So Emilio now talks about giving you a better axe, and he now only fixes the hands of the pocket watch. The better axe only happens if you have a bad axe or you don't have an axe. Um, if you had done a different chapter first, there's other axes in the game that I'm going to be adding, so he may not have this line. There's there's a lot of interactions that are going to carry over between chapters for this kind of a thing, so I think that that's kind of important to understand, is that this is only if you choose to do things in a certain order in the way that they are right now, and um, yeah, and that's what it is. The other one is, is you know fixing the hands in the pocket watch. Originally, I think Emilio fixed the gearbox inside of the pocket watch, which could be fine, but the problem is, is if you look at the pocket watch after he fixes it, it doesn't change. It doesn't visually look different. And I, I thought that was kind of boring, honestly. So what I did was I made it so that originally the intention was for each of the characters in Animus, each major section, would fix a portion of the pocket watch. So you had four sections, four, four like pieces of the pocket watch that would be fixed. Now it's four sections, but as they fix it, it visually gets better each time. And uh, I, I just think it's better. I think that's exactly what I want it to be. So if you go through and play now, you'll see that the pocket watch does look quite good. And then by the end of Animus, if you've done a bunch of nice stuff, it'll look very good. It'll be vibrant at the end and it'll all be working and everything like that. So so yeah, I hope you like that change. It's just kind of a detail thing. The other thing is, is the pocket watch now also appears in Laura's bedroom and uh, on a bridge if you're a terrible person. So if you... If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's probably for the best. And if you do know what I'm talking about, how could you? How could you do this? Why? Why would you do such a thing? But, you know, now it's there. It actually works. And if you look at the pocket watch after you've repaired it in all these different ways, it actually does change that tiny model as well. So I didn't try to make as much effort as possible to make sure that that would, that would look good there, you know. So the tiny little pocket watch does change with that kind of stuff. Shea made all new graphics for it and everything in it. And it looks really cool. It looks really cool and I'm really happy with it. So the next one is uh, stolen potion is now useful for something. If you've ever stolen a potion in Heartbound, you can now use it for something. I won't tell you what and I won't tell you where you get it. This is a secret and it's for something now. But that being said, there's going to be a lot of these soon. So... The tower is finished. Animus is almost finished. Soon you'll be able to play Animus first and then the tower. Right now you can play the tower and then Animus. As these two things near completion, total, there's going to be a lot more crossover between the two. And then when we add Jotunheim for both Muspelheim and Niflheim, the two sides of that, that's just going to add the complexity to it. So Animus was the most difficult because of the interpersonal react in like interactions on it. But now that it's almost done, I can start making these ties and start building these different areas that connect to each other. And I'm super excited about it. So this is just a small thing right now, but there's going to be a ton of these very soon because they're quite easy to build too. So the next one after this is the Factus. Factus now appears in Laura's bedroom, and the Factus can now get other cacti talking. If you've ever seen other cactus anywhere else in the entire game, 
then this is going to be meaningful for you. So once you get the Factus, maybe go talk to the other cacti. Right now, you won't be able to travel to the tower with the Factus because Animus isn't finished, but if you edit your save file and go over there, it'll totally work right now. And in the future, when Animus is finished, which is not going to be much longer, then yeah, you'll be able to do it then too. So this is another thing that will carry over between chapters. So the aspects now judge you for your actions. They always judge you for your actions, but this time they're going to get a little bit more serious about it, and that's going to keep progressing the story on. And then right afterwards, you get to meet the Mossbacks. The Mossbacks are Ramul's parents. He's adopted. He's a rabbit. They're turtles. It's funny. You know? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's basically what it is. You get to meet the Mossbacks. You get to have kind of like a family, you know, sort of adventure thing there. It's, uh, it's going to deal with some pretty heavy topics. I'm kind of excited to tell that story. It's, it's you know, I'm in the middle of writing it right now. But yeah, yeah, I think that's that's going to be the next big section of Animus. And when that one is done, the only thing that is left is the end of Animus. You know, that's it. That's the last piece there. And if you've been paying attention to the story this far in Animus, I hope that this next piece makes sense. I hope that you understand what's going on there. A lot of people have come to me and they're like, why does Animus keep changing? Why do these environments keep opening and closing? Like, is it just because you were lazy? And, you know, it's like, no, this is, that's actually part of the story. It will have meaning at the end of this. And I, I hope it makes sense. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And that's it, you know. So there's now an autosave before a fight in a terrible place. That, if you've gone down a very terrible route and you found another combat encounter, a lot of people wanted to keep redoing that combat encounter because it was very difficult and they weren't able to beat it the first time and they you know they were kind of upset about it. It's kind of hard to get back there. It's a lot of a lot of work to get back there. So now when you enter that environment, there is a autosave that occurs the moment you enter there. I could have added a save point directly in the room, but I felt gross about that. And the the reason why is when you enter a room and there's a save point there. Usually the way you feel is, oh, there's a boss fight coming up. Oh, there's an encounter coming up. It, it, it kind of ruins the punch of that. So I made it an autosave so that when you get into the room, you still don't know what's going to happen. You go up to the top and you're like, oh, no, it's a fight. And then when you die and you reload back into the game because you didn't like that, it puts you back in that room. And it's more of like a, oh, well, I don't have to redo this now. And it's, it's kind of a nice thing. And it still keeps the surprise of the start of that encounter. So... I hope that that works for, for you guys. I hope that it feels good for you. Um, I think this is the, for me, this seems like the best solution so I can retain that feeling. But I, I wanted you to understand the reasoning behind it. The last one is there's something new to solve. So, Heartpan has a massive amount of secrets, huge amount, and I've updated the ARG. In fact, the ARG got updated here. And then the next patch, I'll talk more about the ARG stuff. We, just, you know, we put out two patches this month, so it's quite a lot. But yeah. ARG stuff is pretty huge. If you haven't done the ARG before, there's actually a massive series of cryptographic puzzles behind Heartbound that is, you know, throughout the entire game, the community tries to solve them together. So go and join the Discord at discord.gg slash pirate software. Go into the Heartbound ARG channels and start talking to people because they solve this stuff together and they catalog it all. In fact, if you go to heartbound.fandom.com, which is our wiki website, this is built by the community completely, and you go to the ARG section, they have a massive set of like just descriptions for everything that's going on in here. And it's really, really cool actually. So, and it looks like they've just updated it for the latest step. They haven't solved it yet either. The latest step is unsolved. And I've been, I've been watching them on Discord try and it's, oh, oh, it's really funny. It's really, it's really funny to watch them try to be honest with you. I, there's just something that I enjoy about watching people try to solve the puzzles and then they try something and it fails and they try something and it fails and they try something else and it fails. And they go down all these weird different pathways where they're like, ah, oh, clearly it's going to be this crazy number that has something to do with the moon. You know, like, they, and you're like, dude, where did you even get that idea? But I can't say anything. I just get to watch, you know, because it's part of their, it's their adventure. You know, it's their their entire process of going through that and they get to have fun doing it maybe they learn a bunch of weird stuff that i didn't even intend them to learn so i i really like the arg i like the way that it's gone and if you've never done the arg if you don't know where to go for that go to gopiratesoftware.com um go down to heartbound on there and go to the bottom right corner and click on the crack and it'll, you know open all that stuff up for you and you can that's the beginning of the arg and again heartbound.fandom.com that actually has their entire you know description of everything that's happened in that 
So outside of that, we've got fixed after launch sections. If you don't think that turning in bug reports to me matters, it, it does. Um, anything that you see in fixed after launch that is direct result of someone turning in a bug to me, I fix it, I immediately push a new build out if it's serious enough and like we go and do that. So this is this is super important to me is, is fixing this stuff immediately. And a lot of it is, is a big deal. If you've never reported a bug to me, you can on Discord. I'm Thor numbered 5264. So you can, you know, add me on there and just, you know, send it to me. You can join our Discord and message me there. Or you can send it to gopiratesoftware at gmail.com. If you put a screenshot with it, it makes my life so much easier. If you include your save file, that also makes my life so much easier. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Please report this stuff. It, it means a lot. It, it matters a huge amount. Uh, let's see. The next thing after that is the other patch. So 10957. This is a very tiny patch, but it's a very important patch. The first thing is the ARG received a major update. So all you puzzle guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're in the middle of solving it right now. I'm watching you do it. But the second one for everyone, there is a terrible route through Animus that some of you guys have experienced. That route now has an ending. I didn't originally intend for there to be more than seven endings in Heartbound. And people ask me all the time, what's the true ending? What's the true ending? They're all the true endings. There's no non-canon ending that happens in Heartbound. This is now the eighth ending. It ends. It tells you exactly what to do when it ends. It ties back into the story in a very serious way. And it also forwards the ARG. So if you're not a big puzzle person, it will still have meaning. And if you are a big puzzle person, it will also have meaning. And I hope that you guys really like this because it's something that I realized as I was going down this, as I was building this section of the game, that it was the only way to go. And it, it feels right to me. You know, as writing it, it feels right. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I really do. It's something that's that's kind of wild, actually, is having the having an ending, any ending in the game at this point is it's weird feeling. You know, it, it kind of feels really weird. All right. So on to the on to the next thing. We got an award. Well, we were up for an award. You know, Heartbound is a finalist in the Game Maker Awards, but but you guys voted on it. Everybody voted, and guess what? We won. We won. So Heartbound is the most anticipated of 2022 for the Game Maker Awards, which is freaking rad. You guys are awesome. Thank you for voting on this. Uh, apparently they're gonna send us like a logo icon that we can put up on Steam. And uh, I guess we get a trophy, which is kind of amazing. So, hell yeah. <laughs> if, when they send it, you know, I'll, I'll take pictures and then I'll send, I'll show them to you guys. So thank you very, very much for voting on Heartbound. This is a really, really big deal. It's a huge honor. So thank you, Yo-Yo Games for doing this. And yeah. Yeah, that's basically it, man. So, you guys are rad. Thank you for voting on that. It's a huge deal. But, yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, next thing up for me is to go and release the rest of the Mossback storyline and then finish Animus off. And I am going to have that done probably in the next month or two, unless something horrible happens, you know? And that's about it. So, I will see you guys next month. You guys are awesome. And thank you for being there. Thank you for supporting this game. And you know, coming with us on this crazy adventure we've been on for so long. Bye, everybody.